Might be difficult to believe, but there was a time when this real life Alberto and this real life Luca didn't know about each other. And now the two are best friends. Amazing, isn't it? When Violet met Tony in a family restaurant, the happy platter, the poor girl nearly chucked. I wonder, would Violet's reaction be the same had she met this Tony instead? I personally think so. Good evening, everyone. I had no idea I'd actually find three charming Miriam lookalikes. That has never happened before. I thought to maybe choose based on the number of views. And Lilike ended up in the lead. Why her, you ask? Easy, Jess, that's her name. Bears the closest resemblance to Miriam. She doesn't need a wig or makeup to look like the character. She doesn't need fake braces like other girls. She has real ones. Finally, her eyes, smile and even hair color are the same as Miriam. I think it's clear why her cosplays have more likes and views. What's with her? What's with your face? Chad a lot seems like using his ability to transform to create an emperor, as well as to become a completely different person for a while, just like Camilla. On second thought, all Caspers love it. Oh, what the difference? Diego still regretted Camilla's amazing look. All he needed was a good mood, a yellow ruana and curly brown hair. Not if we don't have a house. What? We don't have a house. I can't say we don't have a house. What is that? Not a house. Do you remember Anna year after year asking Elsa to build a snowman? Well, this was not very effective. This is what she should have done. Do you want to build a snowman? Elsa, we're building a fucking snowman. To be completely frank, I wanted to show you even more of Anna's looks today. Here are three more looks of the Arendelle princess. What do you think? Do you have a favorite? I'd personally choose Lily on the Moon, as this talented girl made the dress herself as well, is filmed numerous funny videos with Princess Anna. Leave your choice in the comments below. You didn't say I was crazy. You think I'm crazy? Toph is one of the most notable characters in the TV show. She has taught two avatars, discovered metal bending and helped in the Hundred Year War. You won't believe it, but there's an inspiring actress on social media and she looks so much like Toph. Her smile, facial expression and costume accurately mimic the character. Just look at the funny video she's made. Let's split up and look for him. I'm going with Zuko. What? Everyone else went on a life-changing field trip with Zuko. Now it's my turn. In this video, the actress does all martial arts. It is undoubtedly noteworthy. I will leave the links to her Instagram and TikTok in the description, in case some of you want to check them out. Be sure to like her post and say hello from me. The next hero always wears a Brazilian t-shirt and has adorable shaggy red hair. You're absolutely right, this is Johnny, the same ordinary guy who managed to make Mavis in the entire Hotel Transylvania fall in love with him with his funny. Awesome. You won't believe this, but Luis de Silva is a popular blogger from TikTok who can also make people fall in love with him, including Hotel Transylvania fans. Here's how it happened. One day Luis decided to check if he looked like Johnny. He created a cosplay and uploaded it to his TikTok. As you might have guessed, the video got a lot of views, so now the guy regularly makes videos with this cool dude, and fans love it. As you know, Ursula's life is all about helping poor unfortunate souls. She's a saint, sea witch, and is simply the most beautiful woman in the world. Oh snap, Ursula promised me that I've paid her these compliments. She'll help me find her lookalike in real life. So she did. Here's the cosplays of the legendary William that will turn your blood cold. Rest pathetic. This is what Mr. Incredible looks like in real life. Oh, sorry, sorry, wrong photo. This is what Mr. Incredible looks like in our world. A quick addition, here's Bob's former supervisor at university lecture. I can't be certain, but it seems to me these are the kids Ercola eats for breakfast. I eat kids like you for breakfast. On the other hand, I do hope that the real Ercola doesn't actually eat children for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Out of towners, eh? Let me welcome you, Benvenuti a Porto Rosso! This is not Ursula's last cosplay. Remember, in The Little Mermaid, the sea witch used to turn into a human named Vanessa, a beautiful seductress who made Prince Eric fall in love with her instead of Ariel. No ordinary makeup mom, a cosplayer who loves turning into Disney characters, tried to recreate this alter ego. Eric, get away from her! It 
A cosplayer from South California, Mochi Marie, has always dreamed of adding the cheerful and vigorous daily to her collection. She succeeded. Marie looks simply fabulous as a striking and joyous girl. Her smile, posture, and makeup perfectly reflect Taylor's personality. Interestingly, this custom, as well as many others, was created by the cosplayer herself. She even publishes articles teaching others to make certain pieces of clothing. This is a rare thing for a cosplayer to do. Having looked through her profile, I realized that all all her looks were created with love and attention to the smallest detail. Dracula's best friends and Mavis's favorite uncle. The real Frankenstein! We know who we love you! If you were wondering what it could look like in real life, here are a few photos to give you an idea. Oh, Frankie, you're so scary! Boo! <laughs> No, it's freaky. She's not normal. Ma'am, please! I'm sorry, Mrs. Lee! Yes, that's Min Lee, the overbearing mother who always wants her Min Lee to be perfect and conscientious. If you ever wondered what Min looks like in real life, wonder no more and visit Louis Ray on TikTok. How could she do this to her own mother? Who cares? What's she gonna do? Round me? <laughs> <laughs> No one will deny that Felix is the soul of their party. No one will also deny that Obi is a huge Encanto fan who did one of the best cosplays for this character. I'd like to see Han's face when he finds out about Anna becoming the queen and some random Iceman is soon to be the king. I'm also curious to find out what do you think about this guy. I personally think he is a carbon copy of Hans. Unfortunately, I don't know this prince's name. I do know one thing. This come from Frozen Fantasy Parade at Tokyo Disneyland. I need a guy who loves reindeer in picking eyes. I'm here. What do you need? Oh, Kristoff, I'm happy am I to see you. Look, there are two guys who look like you. Who do you like best? Are you serious? Okay, let's leave the chairs up to the fans then. You may have noticed that his race changed her look in season 4. Now, instead of a short like brown jacket, she wears a coat, while her curly hair is noticeably more straight. Such a drastic change understandably pushed many cosplayers to try on a hitch's updated look. There are a number of TikTok cosplayers now, and it was a tough choice, but Fleurbound created one of the best cosplays. Sorry, sir. You could talk to her all day long, but you're not allowed to talk. If you're a fan of this character, you must visit Casplanet's page. His Frozen is right in the money, believe me. Just look how many memes and funny videos he created. Got him! Talk to the Frozone elbow! This Mr. Zone found his super suit after all, and we are all incredibly happy for him. Now I'd like to introduce you to the cat that inspired Luca creators to create the character of Machiavelli. It's Sapia from Bokides, and all Mariner's village at the Italian city of Genoa. It's not the only furball I'd like to show you. There's also Jax, whose TikTok video has gained over 740,000 views. Enough of Ursula. What about moving on to her sworn enemy, the ruler of the underwater kingdom Triton? Here's what this character could look like in the real world. These photos clearly demonstrate that Jesse Briffner loves swimming in his pool. Perhaps he misses his mermaid tail. It's an undisputed fact that the charismatic and driven Azula has always attracted a lot of attention. We will dominate the Earth! 19 year old cosplayer Anthony similarly attracts a lot of attention, showing all the incredible Azula look on her TikTok. Here's a hint I must find the Avatar to restore my honor. It's okay, you can laugh. It's funny. Besides this cosplay, Anthony has also cosplayed Mei and Tai Lee. And yes, they're cool, but let's be honest, Azula's cosplay is pardon. Some fans claim that Erika is reincarnation of Martha, because Zin only happens once in lifetime. These are nothing more than fun speculations, of course, but who knows, perhaps the writers will indeed throw in a twist like this in future films. The probability is small, but alas, let's ignore that theory for now and instead check out Erika's cosplays created by Glam by Jerry's. Do you wanna see the real for town? Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? All right, then welcome the real boys bands. First will be Robert by Sweet Stories. 
second Jesse by Midna of Kass, third Aaron T by CG Lewis, fourth Taeyan by Kazuardi, and finally Aaron Z by Mushrooms Cosplay. Toronto! Mama Cass' stunning cosplay brought the caring and gentle Julieta Madrigal to life. She thought of every detail on her look, from flip-flops to the identical hairstyle. To be honest, I am lost as to why her post has so few likes and comments. You're the only ones who can restore justice in the world, guys. Don't let me down. Here's what Olaf looks like in real life. But I couldn't live out this moment with Samantha. Anna? Elsa? Sven? Samantha? <laughs> Samantha kept me up all night, I'll tell you that. I wondered if Samantha is in fact Olaf's wife. Yeah, why? Or maybe she is Anna and Kristoff's kid. Yeah, why? Perhaps she is even Anna and Elsa's third sister. Yeah, why? Or maybe she can even be Elsa's girlfriend. <laughs> Big Finger has no doubt become one of the favorites among Attack on Titan fans since her debut on this show. And TikTok's cosplayers copying her famous habit of walking in all fours make it especially evident. Oh. Hey, Peek. Why are you down there? Oh, this strange. I found the real Peek Finger among these funny videos. That was Itsura Capricorn Girl. The girl looks exactly like Peek without a ton of makeup, wigs or anything else extravagant along the lines. It's amazing, but really, all you need to do is to be born the same as an anime character. Easy. The bare fact that I haven't seen her old friend for the first time in years. Edna's words are... My god, you've gotten fat. Come in, come, come! He's hilarious in and of itself, but this moment is a very bit is a funny in real life is proven by anybody. Well, they go check the electric fence or something. Who is it? Who are you? What do you want? Oh my god, you've gotten fat. Come in, come, come! The next cosplayer loves to create various mythical creatures, especially fans in his TikTok. Sometimes Sis of the Fawn does find time for other creatures too. For instance, once upon a time, a famous marine creature caught his attention. You know who I'm talking about. Luca. And this was the right choice, as fans was mesmerized by his super accurate cosplay. Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Can you still hear him? Nope! Just you! Good! Now hang on! And Diablo! These beauties are like the seven colors of the rainbow. Do you remember them? Let's name them one by one. We'll start with the firstborn fuchsia queen of Atlantica. This is Athena. If you're interested in what she looks like in real life, visit Kansas page. Give him a break, he's a king, remember? Triton's second daughter is the gorgeous Elana. Here's her cosplay from Simply Bell. Makeup is for women who want husbands. The third daughter is Adela. She's crazy. She's crazy about boys. The character was recreated by Ryuk and Dayami. The fourth daughter is adorable Aquata. They say she's a supper dancer. But does that really matter if this is your cosplay from Sydney? The fifth daughter, Harista, is a musically gifted child who dares performing and plays the trombone. Blogger cosplay Yuminichu is a perfect Azurista. The sixth daughter is Andrina. She is fun, loves joking around and making sarcastic remarks. Marks. Tutelitella's party created her cosplay. And last but not least is Ariel, the youngest sea princess. You'll see her real life look like at the end of the video. And I have one question. Show of hands, who thinks that Ariel's sister should be Disney princesses too? Suki! Sokka, it's good to see you. As you understand, a lot of fans would like to wear the traditional costume and makeup of the Kyushu warrior. Unfortunately, I can physically show you all the cosplays, so I'll focus on the best ones. A cosplayer from Seattle, Taylor Versace, did an excellent job recreating the sweet and independent Suki. I think it's sweet. Taylor went a step further. She also cosplayed as Zula, this guest of the Kyushu warrior. We are the Earth King's humble servants. Greta is next. She is a talented cosplayer from Italy who perfectly recreates the slightly harsh anti Eunice. Everybody, just please watch the hair. Watch the hair! Don't you think the reason Tyler was constantly teasing May was because he was in love with her? Remember, he repeatedly went out of his way to get close to her. Alright, while you're thinking what's what, I'll very quickly show you a cool Brazilian guy who looks like Tyler. It's Jonathan Julio, a cosplayer from TikTok, known for creating Camilla from Encanto as well as Tyler from Turning Red. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know what Agustin's problem with these bees is, but like Winnie the Pooh, they clearly don't like him. There were bees everywhere. By the looks of this photo, the little flying creatures seems to dislike and this cosplayer too. He looks a little unwell, does he? Hobby cosplay of Olaf brings me a huge smile to my face, while Caesar Davis cosplay invokes a completely different emotion. That of awe and adoration. It is no way surprising, as looking at this cosplay you start thinking that Grand Pabby magically appeared in our world. Nevertheless, this is no magic, this is all Davis doing. Let me see what I can see. It's next to impossible to forget Carla Yeager's beautiful look. Cherry Sankis and her funny videos make it even harder, as if it is humanly possible. Look at the screen. That's mine. Do you wanna see a normal Violet cosplay? Normal? What do you know about normal? Okay, you're not getting a normal cosplay then, but what you're getting are two of the best cosplays of Invisigirl. The first one in from NASA, the second one in from Olka Aklo. So which Violet do you prefer? Shy or confident? But I was hoping that I could get you what to- What are these? Look, I'm the dash! The dash, like, just... Do you remember this Italian girl who made everyone fall in love with her because of her incredible competitiveness and bravery? When you see the real Julia, you love her too. Believe me, there is no two ways about it. By the way, Santa Mazzarella's words describe her magnificent cosplay the best. Uh, hey, uh, Spulia? Julia. My name is Julia. The next cosplayers and makeup artist Nicotel try to recreate the eccentric chef Louis. What can I say? Sebastian would have been shocked. What is this? In a nutshell, May is calm, a bit gloomy, and always tries to hide her emotions. Oh well, I'm sorry I can't be as high, strong, and crazy as the rest of you. This time, the Vespera cosplayed this quite yet charismatic character. Just look at all the custom details. The hairstyle, the weapons and black nails, pure perfection. There isn't a thing wrong. Speaking of the hairstyle, the two buns on her head are in fact traditional for China. This hairstyle is called axe horn. It's funny, but after reading these two words, I immediately thought of Ace Ventura and his ridiculous hairstyle. Nobody messes with the do. I cannot possibly express the pain the fans felt when they saw Griffin in the first installment. Some fans laughed, some cried, and yet some signed petitions. It was truly horrific. It could have been completely different. The creators did in fact have an OK concept for Griffin. Have you seen this OK concept in the finished film? If the answer is no, take a look at this photo. This is the normal invisible man who is supposed to appear in Hotel Transylvania Transformania. But he didn't. Perhaps some and dislike this version. Alas, I wanted to show you Griffin's original concept. So here's the real invisible man from the blogger Nicholas Skidmore. Watch the charming tab before yelling out Did you know that originally Abuga was supposed to be the phrase I love you, Damon! Or something. This clerk from Daisy Mart drives girls completely mad. Let me show the real life Devon, Abby Lee. She can do it just as well. I'm not upset with y'all because I know you're mentally ill, which is why one day I'm gonna open up a hospital. Never tell Peppa that it looks like it's about to rain. Wait, now I'm thundering. You see, it's dangerous. The same but I was saying it to our cosplay, Yellow Bees Rose, because the girl is very similar to our Peppa. Sure, you can see much of resemblance now, but when Brooklyn puts on a yellow dress, unshaped earrings and an auburn curly wig, she instantly turns into our beloved character. <laughs> there you are. Look at you. All grown up. At first glance, Ryder is a fearless warrior. But that's not really the case. After first meeting Olaf, this guy hid behind his sister's back. No surprises here really. Olaf has the defect on people. Anna was equally afraid of him when she met him. Am I right? <laughs> Alas, let's let it go for now and instead take a look at a crow 59 in his cosplay, yet the cheerful and good nature rider. This is my sister. This is my brother. I don't have a skull. Or bones. Many fans of Attack on Titan have always wanted to see a romantic relationship between this couple. But as we know, this didn't happen on the show. Not to worry, guys. There is a cosplayer on TikTok, Queen Jinkos, who will definitely please all the fans of this couple. Her name is Sarah. Is she film scenes for this couple we never got to see, such as a wedding or a hot kiss? 
We're married. <laughs> Still. Have you ever imagined a hyperfast, restless, and curious dash when he grows up? To be honest, I haven't. But I know what to do if you have. Let's go to Duck Cosplay and find the guy who can easily get under his sister's skin. Tony Ridinger. Shut up. Well, you are. I said shut up, you little insect. Well, she is. We've already taken a look at the human versions of Luke and Alberta. Let's now see what they look like in the sea monsters. What do you say? Here are a few of the best cosplays of the real sea monsters. Stop, stop, stop. Why do you keep calling them monsters if they're in fact just nice descendants of axolotls? Oh. Hey. Turns out, Melody wasn't the only one who dreamt of becoming a mermaid as a child. Actress and cosplayer Mermaid Zelda has the same dream. Here's how she described it. It all began when I was a little girl. I grew up playing on the beach, collecting seashells and looking for mermaids. My biggest dream of all was to become a mermaid and escape beneath the bubbles of the deep blue sea. You know, her dream as well as Melody's come true. Now I'm a crazy unbelievable breathtaking mermaid cosplays. Her collection is filled with countless designs, including Melody. In fact, this is exactly why you're here, so enjoy! Have you ever seen something so wonderful? This list wouldn't be complete without the courageous Princess Yue. Goodbye, Sokka. I'll always be with you. Her look was recreated by Lyra Cosplays. You can tell she is a huge fan of the Avatar universe by simply looking through Lyra's profile. She has cosplayed Taylor, Mei, Azula, Asami, Katara and Kura. But Princess Yue is still her best work. These were Martha's final words. Martha was Mavis's loving mother. If you like this character and wish to see a real life Martha, don't think twice and visit Yellow Bees Rose's TikTok. Your zing will come, my love. Cherish it. Love. Abby Kate can transform into anybody. Look at the diversity of her cosplays. Gollum, Lord Voldemort, Nemo and many more. I was so mesmerized by the cosplays that I momentarily forgot why I visited her page in the first place. Upon coming to my senses, finally, I remember that I've been looking for Grandma Wu's cosplay. And I found it. Here it is. Amazing, isn't it? It must be magic. Do you remember this funny paranoid guy who lived with rats? Yes, this is Uncle Bruno. He is difficult to forget. There's absolutely zero chance to when our talented cosplayers make such funny scenes with him. For example, Memento Morsef created a fictional scene of Bruno jokingly dancing to the tune about herself. Cosmo Play in turn created another funny moment, this time with Reds. My boy, my son, my child, how are you, sweet baby? After watching C.G. Lewis cosplay, all I can think of is that their poor lonely Bruno started eating raw potatoes. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a cool cosplay of the great villain of the story Duke of Weaseltown. Weaseltown. Duke of Weaseltown. But there are a few noteworthy photos I did decide to bring to your attention. Any sort with Weaseltown. Many soldiers of the Severus Corps died in the war against the Titans, and unfortunately Petrol was one of them. After losing her favorite character, cosplayer Nava of Million 96 decided to recreate Petrol's saddest moment as a tribute to her. As a result, her cosplay, just like the moment in this show, made many fans shed a tear. Roger Paul Allen was completely overjoyed when he found a real-life bomb voyage on TikTok. His viewers shared the sentiment after Paul posted this comparison on his account. The video was viewed through million times and the similarity was confirmed by the people who watch it. And still, Duncan Ormas, a TikToker compared, considers the comparison absurd. What do you think? In case you're curious what Lucas Mothers looks like in real life, go to Resident Sally Jackson. Her version of Daniela will pleasantly surprise you. Meet another character from the Little Mermaid sequel, the spiteful and ruthless Morgana, Ursula's sister. Here's her magical cosplay by Super Sarah. Yes, you all shish kebabbed her. Tara, can I have some water? Water. 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 Where is Katara? No worries, there is no way I was gonna forget the most beautiful girl in the water tribe.
Your look was recreated by the amazing cutie pie sensei. She carefully recreated every single detail of the character's look from hairbands to straps on her water skins. She is a carbon copy of the character. Jasmine also shared an interesting fact about the cosplay on her Instagram. I made the necklace out of just some spur elastic, a gold strip of fabric, and a container cap. Closet cosplay in a budget for your la la la. Hein must have taught her to do that. We love Dracula constantly repeating blah blah blah. I don't say blah blah blah. We also love the amazing cosplays for this character. So let's see the best Draculas out there. Come on, honey, say it again. Blah blah blah. I swear, Abby has the best facial expressions in the entire film. Burn this place to the ground! You're so floppy! Felt it. It's very soft and free. All the aforementioned moments were very fun in the animated form, but I assure you, they would have been no worse in their real life. And Natasha's cosplay of Abby proves my point perfectly. Floppy! You're so floppy! I've always wanted a tail. Free up! Abby, quit it! Fragile and gentle like a May Lily. Did someone say flowers? This is Isabella Madrigal, the eldest sister who is always ready to sacrifice her own happiness for the sake of her family. Brenda Helena is also ready to do anything for her fans, even to create the perfect cosplays of Isabella at the request. All in Kanta fans were amazed by her incredible resemblance to the character. So I'm happy to say that another beautiful May Lily has blossomed right before our eyes. Did someone say flowers? The next master of TikTok is Gax2. The same way is Oaken, he always enthusiastically congratulates all his friends, customers or subscribers. Even more so, he does it practically in every video. I'm starting to think he is unstoppable. <gasps> yeah! Yoohoo! Big summer blowout! It's now secret that we fell in love with Sasha Blows one day one because of her unusual behavior and great passion for food. Francine from TikTok loves Sasha's personality just as much as we do, so we can find many funny scenes with this character on her account. I will have a banana split with extra cherries mm -hmm. and a hot chocolate with cream. <laughs> You're hungry. <laughs> Into the Aztec curry is practically impossible to stop once she starts talking. Laugh all you want, but cosplayer Yuminichu has the same problem when she cosplays in Curry Makin. <laughs> Last but not least, let me mention Mima Ponte and his team who cosplayed marvelously as these characters. The one-armed fisherman Massimo, the kind-hearted but often oblivious Lorenzo, and the weird as ever Uncle Uga. Wow, Max looks like was spotted on Reddit. Here she is, Bagel, an old English sheepdog. She has two things to do in real life, play Max in the Little Mermaid live and be a dog therapist. Let's hope she gets rewarded with a treats and hugs. Despite only appearing in three episodes, June's character is very popular among fans of the anime series. Whatever you say. These are not just words. Just look at how many cosplays she actually has. One of the best cosplays was of course done by Neo Queen Hanibi. It's not surprising whatsoever, since the cosplayer approached every single detail with the atmosphere, so her outfit, hairstyle and tattoos look very realistic. This photo captures a very funny scene where Jun, Ira and Zuko are chasing Avatar. You can easily tell just how much the guys really love the Avatar universe. After I watched numerous Hotel Transylvania videos, TikTok started recommending me stuff. Believe it or not, I saw the real Dennis in one of the recommended videos. It wasn't the young version of the character, though it was the adult version. I'll be frank, Monster Nikki really looks like him. Speaking of, I can hide the amazing Winnie cosplays from Georgia Jones. Many fans believe that Priya is romantically interested in this god girl. This dance scene as well as this professional photo script is the reason why. In reality, nobody knows what is going on with this two just yet. Perhaps it will get clearer in the sequel. While we're waiting, I propose a distraction in the form of your breathtaking cosplay. And here's the even-minded girl the fans of Turning Red love so much. Priya! Yo. Psst, Antonio, there is a boy here who looks a lot like you. Uh -huh. I understand you. Although a 17-year-old cosplayer's drink stamp is not a boy, but her cosplay is still pure magic the moment her puts in a wig and starts playing Antonio. Uh -huh. 
Honey Marin wants nothing more than to bring peace to the enchanted forest. And I want nothing more than to show its real life version. So let's welcome the gutter slot, or the real Honey Marin into our lives. By the way, Sadie, it's her name, believes that in the next film Elsa will be romantically linked to this girl. No one knows what will truly happen yet, but you can always theorize, so put your brains to work in the comments. The mysterious character Vanny Linhart has always attracted many cosplayers to create unforgettable looks, especially considering her ability to transform into a female titan. For example, one of the best titan looks was created by Elton Tabitha. At the same time, one of the best human looks was created by a farmer. <laughs> One of NG Knight's subscribers, she is a popular cosplayer from Budapest, stated that there are three things you can watch forever – fire, water and the NG hips. This comment was attributed to a girl's cosplay, and rightly so, if this costume highlights them the best. I'll just add one thing – this girl is a perfect for the role of Helen, if there's ever a live-action version of the cartoon. Her blogger Jessica Will is known as the unofficial princess who loves traveling across decades. She uses different clothes and makeup to transform into Disney characters. She has done it many, many times and to great effect. But still, Jessica is most often compared to Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Fans dream of seeing her as Ariel in the live-action version of the cartoon. But unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. When answering a fan's question regarding this, the girl said that she'd like to play Ariel, but she couldn't audition, as she didn't have an agent, although she's sure that Halle Bailey will be amazing at the title character. The next character on our list is a charming and powerful avatar Korra. I was looking for the perfect cosplay to reflect Korra for such a long time. As it turns out, Casey Odyssey managed to do her justice. She posted a truly breathtaking and accurate cosplay of the young and perky Korra on her TikTok. And fans took to it instantly. I'm a waterbender and a firebender. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm very confused right now. Uncle Wayne is so funny. What did he say? I said that Pancha Germain looks somewhat like you. <laughs> There's also Chuzina, of course, a blogger who believes that he is you. Hey kids, reel it in. You're only supposed to make mom and dad miserable. Their words I've never met nobody <laughs> like you. Perfectly describe the girl many turning red fans consider a real treasure. Her name is Al, and she looks so much like Maylin Lee. See for yourself. Visit her TikTok. You can, for instance, watch her since Robert's part. Or say where she's amazed by Carter Murphy Mayfield. Oh, Finally, watch your reaction to Devon. I'm not upset with y'all because I know you're mentally ill. Friends, Dolores should never find out that there are three talented TikTokers who perfectly recreate her image and behavior. Well, if everyone already knows everything, then meet the amazing cosplays by Summer Drew, Lara Cosplays, and Sean Bailey. Dolores, do we have a date? Tonight. He wants five babies. The lullaby sent by Queen Iduna to her little daughters was simply enchanting. If you are as in awe of it as I am, visit Practical Princess on TikTok and listen to this magical tune once more. We all know that Hanji Zoe has one of the big weakness. Titans. She is a huge fan of them. Sometimes Zoe reminds me of Karin from Naruto, as they both have a similar passion for exploration and experimentation. As it turns out, there are a lot of great TikTok cosplays of this character, so this time I wanna highlight the top three. Norofan, Daisy Godaiwa, Evda Yukura, whose looks make fans go simply crazy. SpongeBob, you gotta ask him a question first. Oh yeah, what color is my underwear? You know, fan love is a powerful thing that can do basically anything. For example, it can introduce the real-life Ariel to the real-life Eric and make them friends. This is exactly what happened with the professional cosplayer Leo Camacho. He made the incredible Jessica Will, real-life Ariel, through his fans. During the meeting between the two, the pair created a cute moment from The Little Mermaid and made a few family photos as a way to thank the fans. Remarkable, isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. This isn't the only real-life Eric whom I wanted to show you today. There is also blogger Carl Kagelman. Fans, especially female fans, are crazy about him. A popular cosplayer Kimiko Zero 
Hamburg has recreated a number of looks over the years, but the gorgeous and smarty Sammy is among of her best. Just look at these photos, her outfit is impeccable. The similarity is further amplified through excellent makeup and hairstyle. I know, you can hardly wait to see a real-life Mavis in a wedding dress. Ok, ok, since you're being so impatient, let's look at these cosplays from Aurora Kitty Cosplay. And here it is! Wow, she looks amazing with her white bright blue eyes. You can even see little hearts in them, right? It's so cute. Still, the best part of this cosplay is her smile. She looks as though Jenny just said, Honey, pack your bags, we're off to explore the world. That's my girlfriend, suckers! Your wife, Johnny. My wife even better. Imagine waking up one day morning to such text. Oh my god, you look like that character from such and such movie. And you're like, oh my god, that's right. Does it sound familiar? For me, no. But this is exactly what happened to Maddie. One great day her friends bombarded her with messages that she looked like Mirabelle from Encanto. Once the girl realized this, she rushed to create a cosplay. It took a long time and a lot of work, but in the end we were graced with a new miracle. Mirabelle Madrigal from Casper is that Cozart. Oh, thank God I can finally take off my cosplay. So much better. The next girl used to be as lonely and shy as Elsa, but then she decided to let it go and pluck up the courage to finally be herself. It's Andresa Damiani from Brazil, known worldwide because of her doll-like and Elsa-like appearance. Curiously, Andresa didn't even realize she looked like Elsa. Not initially, anyway. After the release of the film, her subscribers drew her attention to this fact. As a result, the girl created the very cosplay that made her even more popular on social media and around the world. Andresa had something to say about what she feels when transformed into Elsa. I feel like a queen when I'm wearing this dress because my character is a queen and I don't think this is wrong or weird. If you wanna look like a cartoon, it is okay, go ahead, there is nothing wrong, we're not sick, it is just a way to express yourself. Truth be told, I really believe her to the Snow Queen, because wherever she goes, both children and adults look at her in amazement. On the face of it, Historia Reese is a very unremarkable and shy girl. The real Historia is nothing like it, and you'll discover it soon enough. But before you rush off to watch Attack on Titan, take a look at the beautiful and shy Historia from the popular cosplay and blogger Mimisuman. With the right motivation. Well, it's high time to show you the strong and resilient Luisa Madrigal. Okay. And this lucky girl is a 23-year-old Maribel Martinez. I so lucky because this character brought this girl unprecedented popularity. Just imagine, one of her videos has over 65 million views on TikTok. In general, our star has recorded many scenes from Encanto, such as Luisa crying when she realized that she is losing her powers, as well as funny scene with the Duncan in the church. It turns out later that she brought the wrong creature. Moreover, in real life, Maribel is even more similar to Luisa than it seems. Firstly, our cosplayer likes to work out and has the same incredible strength as her character. Secondly, in an interview on the Kelly Clarkson show, the girl shared that she had a similar problem as Luisa did throughout the film. Here's what she said. In the movie, she carried the whole world on her shoulders. And in this same place, I felt the same way, cause growing up, I had to raise my siblings from the age of six, cause my mom had mental health issues. It's hard to believe such a huge coincidence, but it's true. We finally get to the main character, Mikasa Ackerman. Her fearless, determination and composure are impressive, but most of all I remember Mikasa as a girl who screams Oh, that Aaron. Oh well, let's move on to Dalha, the famous TikToker who impeccably recreated Mikasa's look. 